Everybody loves heroes, but villains are every bit as important as them when it comes to making any story complete. The ability of a villain to intimidate and scare is all part of his or her appeal, and it can be hard to take them seriously when they lack that ability. That being said, it's sometimes fun to see villainous characters out of context, and bloopers can definitely make that happen. This video will look at bloopers that make iconic villains look a lot less scary than they usually are. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, it's the best way to keep up to date with all of our great new videos. And during the video, can you count how many times Pennywise the Clown randomly appears? Stick around until the end of the video to find out if you counted correctly. Hiya, Georgie! I had you all alone. Michael Myers and Halloween Michael Myers is the seemingly unstoppable killer from the iconic Halloween movies. Having committed cold-blooded murder as a child, he was incarcerated in a sanatorium. He escaped, however, and proceeded to wreak havoc on his hometown of Haydenfield, Illinois, mostly by using his favorite weapon of a kitchen knife to kill anyone who got in his way. He's pretty damn terrifying, but this blooper from Rob Zombie's 2007 Halloween reboot reduces him to more of a comedy figure than an iconic slasher villain. When Myers attempts to enter a house, he finds it's locked, and a voice from inside tells him to ring the doorbell. Actor Tyler Mayne obliges and proceeds to act like a polite neighbor coming over to ask to borrow some sugar. Ghostface in Scream 4 The Ghostface mantle has been taken up by seven different characters over the course of the four Scream movies to date, and while they're not the most competent of horror movie villains, they're still killers and they're still damn scary as a result. However, this blooper from 2011's Scream 4 removes any modicum of scariness from the masked murderer. It happened during a scene in which Nev Campbell's Sidney Prescott was tussling on some stairs with Rory Culkin's incarnation of the killer. When Campbell hit Ghostface over the head with a framed picture, she genuinely heard him. He stopped in his tracks and she had to apologize to the poor guy, reducing him to being the poor unfortunate villain. Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs In spite of his great intellect and undeniable ability to charm, Anthony Hopkins' Hannibal Lecter is one of the most vicious, cold, and calculated killers in cinema history. He's a cannibal and a sociopath with zero conscience whatsoever, and regardless of him regularly being described as an anti-hero, is actually undoubtedly a murderous villain. He's also absolutely terrifying. But this blooper from The Silence of the Lambs changes that completely. In character as Lecter, while covered in blood nonetheless, Hopkins inexplicably bursts out an impression of Sylvester Stallone's Rocky Balboa. This one is for you, Adrian. Not for you, Polly. Let's go for it. Rocky Five. Let's do it now. Guy goes on the <laughs> box. <laughs> Pinhead in Hellraiser 7, Deader. Veteran English actor Doug Bradley has played the horrifying Cenobite character Pinhead in eight out of the nine Hellraiser movies to date, so you would think he'd have it down to a T by now. However, this blooper from 2005's Hellraiser 7, Deader, the seventh movie in the franchise, proves that he hasn't. Bradley turns to face the character in typically menacing fashion, but he breaks out laughing and has to apologize to the crew, then demands that the scene be cut. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Hearing Pinhead speaking in Bradley's voice totally removes the fear factor from a character who likes nothing more than to brutally torture his victims, even though he still has dozens of nails sticking out of his skull. Take a look at this. You gotta be kidding. Drake in Blade Trinity Dominic Purcell played a version of the iconic Dracula who was known as Drake in this instance in 2004's Blade Trinity. He was revived to cure vampires of their weaknesses and go up against the titular vampire hunter, and he was extremely formidable to say the least. However, in this blooper, he was defeated by a baby. Whilst threatening to drop said baby off a rooftop in front of Blade, the infant wouldn't stop crying, which interrupted the scene and forced Purcell to come out of character. What took you so long? Careful, Daywalker. I've heard about you. Sorry, guys. This is fighting. Ironically, given he was playing a vampire, Purcell even complained that the baby was biting him. Well, so much for being the big bad Dracula, right? Jesus. 
Freddy Krueger in A Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger is, without any shadow of a doubt, the most iconic and terrifying slasher movie villain of all time. The horribly scarred reality warper in the red and black striped sweater has terrorized audiences for more than 30 years, starting with 1984's A Nightmare on Elm Street, and that's where this extremely rare blooper comes from. In a scene when Freddy is primed to attack Nancy Thompson, Robert Englund takes a hilarious stumble in some bushes, which totally changes audiences' perception of the character. Suddenly, Freddy Krueger goes from being one of the scariest characters in all of fiction to being a bumbling fool. You're not even out of the academy yet, Roman. Two more months. Then I'm on the force for reals. Jennifer in Jennifer's Body Depending on who you talk to, Jennifer's Body is one of Megan Fox's most memorable movie roles. In it, she plays the titular Jennifer, whose body is possessed by a demonic entity, which turns her into a violent killer. During a scene in which Amanda Seyfried's character, Needy, is attacking Jennifer for killing her boyfriend, Jennifer reacts by biting her. However, in this blooper, Fox really bit Seyfried, prompting her to break out of character and apologize. Which swiftly removes any hint of scariness from the character who, in spite of being played by a gorgeous actress who doesn't look intimidating at all, is actually pretty damn creepy. A Dalek in Doctor Who Iconic villains don't just appear in movies, so now we're going to feature some from the small screen as well. No TV villains are more iconic or scary than the Daleks from the British science fiction series Doctor Who, but this blooper from 1983's feature-length episode, The Five Doctors, shows one in a much less terrifying light than usual. While it's charging through a corridor shouting things like, you will obey, and unsurprisingly, exterminate, the Daleks voice actor suddenly realizes it's lagging behind where it should be and proclaims, bugger, I've lost them and proclaims, bugger, I've lost them, which triggers a chorus of laughter from behind the scenes. A Walker in The Walking Dead Zombies are iconic villains unto themselves, and there are no more iconic examples in modern pop culture than the walkers in AMC's The Walking Dead. The idea of the dead rising and consuming human flesh is terrifying. But this blooper from the first ever episode, Days Gone By, which actually wasn't cut out of the final version, shows them in a very different light. One of the extras playing a walker amongst a crowd of the undead can be seen taking a swig from a bottle of water. Once you notice it, it completely takes you out of the illusion that the horde might actually be real and any sense of being scared is automatically removed from the scene. I really don't. Well, this isn't just about you, as much as you'd like it to be. Spike in Buffy the Vampire Slayer before he went through the demon trials to regain his soul and fight for the forces of good, James Marster's Spike was one of Buffy the Vampire Slayer's most formidable and iconic foes. In fact, in season two of the show, he was one of the season's big bads. A powerful, ruthless, and notoriously murderous vampire, Spike had a particular hatred for Xander Harris. But this blooper shows their relationship in a very different light. During a graveyard confrontation between the pair in season six is normal again, they're about to come to blows when they get a little bit too close to each other, prompting Marsters and Nicholas Brendan to break character and give each other a little kiss. And that doesn't make Spike come across scary at all. And that's the end of our video. Did you enjoy it? Have you seen any bloopers that render iconic villains less scary than usual? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And the number of times Pennywise randomly appeared was... We hope you had fun guessing. Bye for now.